Chapter 13 Direction and Time we have public and natural places in our surroundings. In order to know the exact position and location of a place, we have to refer to their directions and the distance. Also, we have divided the day into different parts. These parts can be referred to as time. So, information about directions Distance and times are given. 1. Directions Look at the picture given. It is morning. The sun is rising. The direction in which the sun rises is called the east. The boy is facing the rising sun. He is facing the east. Behind him is the west. The sun sets in the west in the evening. The boy's left hand points to north and his right hand points to the south. Remember, 1. There are four main directions. 2. They are east, west, North and South. 3. The directions are opposite to each other. The East is opposite the West. The North is opposite the South. 4. Every day the sun rises in the morning in the East. 5. Every day the sun sets in the evening. In the West. Two distance. Look at the picture. In the picture given above, the boy is standing near the table, but the window is far away. Look at some of the sentences. One. The houses in the city are close by to each other. 2. The houses in the villages are far away from each other. 3. Rahul's house is close to the school, so he walks to the school. 4. Sanya's house is far away from the school. So she comes to the school on a bicycle. 5. The teacher's house is quite far away from the school, so he comes to the school by bus. Remember, when we use the words near, far, far away, quite far away, we refer to the distance of a place. Three, time. We know about day and night. The day has light and the night has darkness. By just referring to day and night, we cannot understand the time. So what do we do? Well, the daytime has been divided into three major parts and the night time has been divided into three major parts. A. The daytime has been divided into morning, afternoon, and evening. B. The nighttime has been divided into night, midnight, and dawn. One morning. The sun rises in the morning. Our shadow is longer in the morning. At this time, mother sprinkles water in front of the house and draws rangoli. The flowers from the coral trees bloom in the morning. We get up early in the morning 
brush our teeth and have a bath. Then we have breakfast. During summer season, we can hear the cuckoo singing in the morning. We can see the herdsman leading his cattle for grazing. The farmer goes to the field in the morning. Two, afternoon. The sun is overhead in the afternoon. So our shadow is short at noon and almost near our feet. At this time, it is very hot. We have our lunch in the afternoon and then play or rest. The breeze is warm during this time. Three, evening. The sun sets in the evening. The shadow is once again longer in the evening. We drink milk or tea and then go out to play or go for a walk. Slowly the light becomes less and we can see flight of birds in the sky. The birds are returning to their nests. The sun sets in the evening. The farmer returns home. The light now fades. We also come home. Wish everyone and recite our multiplication tables. Four, night. There is darkness everywhere at night. The stars twinkle in the sky at night. It appears as if moonlight has spread everywhere. We have a dinner at night and go to bed. Sometimes we can hear the cricket chirping. The breeze is cool and pleasant at night. Five, midnight. We are in a deep sleep at midnight. At this time, everything is quiet. Six, dawn. We are still asleep at dawn. We can only hear the chirping of the birds in the trees. Then we can hear the cock crowing, cock a doodle doo. This is the most pleasant and delightful time of the day. At this time, the breeze is cool. Seven, 